Hello everyone and welcome back to No Man's Land. And what we're doing here today is, well, got a lot of stuff to sell first of all as usual. So we've got our mushrooms, flour and an egg pallet or two I think. Also we've got a bunch of planks from over here, our old little mini sawmill I was on quit. But yeah, we're still going to keep this sawmill in that, but our priority is going to be the main sawmill, so... Get you on like so. Ooh, careful. Also today, what I'm trying to get to do is get these oats sprayed. Yep. Medium weed, so they are going to need doing. So let's go and strap you up. And also be careful of going to our fields half prop destruction because what I actually done was as I was sort of moving the things around, I accidentally went to the fields with the fence. I think yeah, I think it was a fence it was, so yeah, gotta be a little cautious of that. Just gonna get you loaded up. Yep. Also, if we get enough money, we'll get a new plow today for sure. Then we can get this new field plowed up and seeded. So I think, what can we still do at the moment? Oh, we'll still have to do sugar beet, but we're going to miss a window, so we can do sorghum, harvest in September. Or soybeans or corn. I'm thinking if we do one soybeans and one sorghum, because the sorghum filled out ain't gonna be ready to harvest until September. That's when we could do wheat, barley, or canola. Or actually, I'm trying to think. Yeah, we can do that, yeah, so we'll do that. So like you said, we have one crop then, able to swap over next year, uh, with the... What did I say was going to do? Yeah, soybeans, I think it ready till November. So that's going to be a very late harvest for us. And then once we've done that, we can leave that blank. Maybe do a grass field in February. Cut it in March. And then plant either potatoes or sugar beet. Or try to think cotton we can do, potentially. There is a few options for us, so lose. If I can I'll try to get everything on here, but in one load it's got just one massive amount of money coming in. Hopefully that can strap on. There we go. Yeah, the straps all good, so we know we can go up to five high on these. And that's good. Oh, oh bugger. Some very good strapping skills there. And do take that out of context, folks. So, we'll get this on here. We just see we can get away with three pads on it, going three wide, but just a swing on this. As we say, there we go. So, if we do that, um, just try to nudge it across. That's it. Then, we should just have enough space for one more pallet if we need to. But I am not going to guarantee that. So, that is 10,000 litres of planks and 1,000 litres of furniture right there. Furniture, I'm not too, too worried about. 
yeah, there's an extra six grand or so in the in income. Yeah, so that's why I take you around to go into 39 here. Until they get access to. So, yeah. Think about this whole access thing. So, if you say go here, I'm going to try to drive this. As if, we're, as if that is a field for the seeded and planted field. Seeded field, planted. So we'll get practice using these. So if we go wide here, I'm just worried about the turn circle. I just about miss with the fence. So yeah, actually that's just wide enough. Make it slightly more curved on the edges. But apart from that, that's actually quite good actually. And oops, well, let's turn times up back to time six. And what about our signage here? They are 65%, so they'll be ready by the end of the day, so. Oh, whoa! Ah, uh, bugger. Ah, uh, uh, yes, I forgot about that. Bloody... Uh. Also, I was like, what the heck was going on there? And that has just totally gone and wrecked us, so... That has screwed us a bit. You know what? We're just gonna get rid of these and sell the grass. Oh, you know what? That's that's on me. That is, I'm into that. So, yeah. Ness, do we try? It's not so much the flowers; it's the mushrooms and that. It's gonna be fitting that. So, you know what? Let's quickly get it sold. Go, just with a quick sell. So that, yeah, that is selling. And uh, not too bad, that's 94 grand there. Not too shabby. Oh, yeah. uh, it's the downside of this trade, it is massive. I think I had best to turn around with this. First into the shop, and then I think so. Aussie, yeah, we can get away with it not being an auto bell trailer because those trailers I don't mind loading up with a you know a big bag onto the trailer and that, or even with a bell spike potentially. But hey, we've got also those versions, so must well make the use of it. Yeah, I know that's one rule is against um, Dark Winds and Chainsaws 100 series, but again, as I said at the start of this, this is my sort of, not interpretation of it, but how I'm going to run it, so. I'd be interested to see how many pallets of planks we're going to get from the sawmill, because. How's it coming on at the moment? Yeah, just minus the colossal mess. It's got 4,000 litres weighing outside. Or inside. Not outside. So we say. Park you there. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six. That's ten thousand liters. Same as that sawmill. That's been going on for uh, more than a month, more than two months, I think. And that's just since we placed it yesterday afternoon or evening. So, you know what? I am not complaining on that. So this shouldn't take too long to get the rest of this done. And best thing to do is a little quick time lapse. Get everything sorted, loaded up, and I'll see you folks at the shop. Planks, 6,000 years of flowers, 4,000 years of mushrooms, and a plow because we're going to sell that and get our new mega plow sorted. That's a nice extra 79 grand there. I may. Yeah, I'm going to have to look at these settings because I swear chainsaw and that are on the same economic, economic sense as me so which is yes technically easy quote unquote wait a minute where did that 10,000 come from must be something by me but regardless so things like um what was it Darwin he just done an episode today came out on Sunday as of recording this and uh, yeah, he was getting like about five hundred pounds per thousand liters for uh, for silage and things like yeah, like flowers and mushrooms is the same thing. Why not I turn on the settings? I don't know. So not actually for now. As we said, we've got to do it this way. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a pain to turn around, so... Repair you, fix you, and sell you. We will repair that, since we pull that used. And uh, since we're here, we might as well do a cheeky repair on that. So yeah, as again, once more, enough money for the combine. But, well, enough money for the combine, or we do have enough money for, oh, where is it to, not speeders, not planters, cedars. Ah, uh, that's 159 grand, so, and if we get that, then we don't have to worry about getting a planter that does the multi-fruit. It does your normal seed crop, so your wheat, oats, barley, and all that. It also does cotton, sugar beets, and sugar cane, along with corn and sunflower. So, I do want to get that just as is. We have work lights, real chalks, why not? Under 60 grand, but of course, we didn't have a plow and we need a field to plow so. What's our horsepower on this? 396. 
Don't know what we will attach to the back of this, but let's make it a fence green. Yeah, fence classic green. Oh, sh yeah. Okay, know what we're doing? It. Can we get? Yeah, can we even get it outside of the shop? That's going to be the question next. But look at that. That's going to make a huge difference for us, so... That's hooked up. Whether or not we will need a front weight on this, I don't know, but... If we do, we do have one. But yeah, that's going to be very much nice to have. And yeah, we can use this Aussie to create fields. And yes, this may seem a bit excessive and that, but we're going to be ploughing a lot of fields. One, we've got periodic ploughing on. Two, we're going to get many more plots of land. Three, actually just realizing we do need small plow because we will won't do, just do massive mega fields and big fields like these. So let's unfold that side. But yeah, we'll get this plow done very quickly. And there we go, we are ploughing. But yeah, for when we do small fields, we do need a small plough, so... That's fine. And we're doing this steady at 9 miles an hour. And the working speed is... What on is... 9 miles an hour, so... We'll see how it goes on the northern part of this land. Yeah, at the moment it is managing quite well. Ah, it's going to make our life too much easier. So it's feeling around going back and forth and that, so... All in all, I am not complaining. But yeah. Just look at that. Up, turn you around. And Bob's your uncle. So yep, yeah, we are gonna continue on this. It's gonna be a very quick time lapse because of the width for this. Get this field done and then we'll start looking at seeding. And that's why we've got lime, haven't we? Yep. Got to line the fields as well, so yeah. Get all that done. I'll see you folks in a moment.
time and rock picking underway. Actually, if we go over to the farm, you did see in the time lapse we did sell the old lime spreader. It was just having the issues of it being too bulky and that and heavy. So, you know what? I thought, heck it, sell it, and then we got a bigger one. You got the brittle, I think it's the yeah, K105. So, if we have a quick look, it is the cheapest one. Yeah, that does 42 meters, and it does get done quickly, but it runs out quickly as well, so... Rather have something with a bit of capacity. Ideally, we would have gone for something to K165, but... We just don't have the money for it, and yes, we could have waited another day, and we would have had the money for it, I'm sure, but... However, since we're at the shop, we're going to sell the tanker and this old trader. The tanker, because we're going to go with a different one. That's got, what was it, yeah, 10,000 litre capacity. And we're gonna go with something a little bit different, so. Might as well repair that whilst it's here. Actually, what? Uh, to do, if we slightly modify this a sec. Does this have narrows? Not really. It does have some big ass tires though. What's the difference between the FI? I'll go with weights, because we can do it with weights. A minor modification there. But, yeah, tankers. Couple of options. But we're going to go with what I mentioned before. This is Retardis Liquid M. That is £5,000 for 20,000 years. So we're going to go with that. Let's go with that metallic colour and keep the green. That is five and a half grand. And that is going to make some difference for us. Okay, you've stopped. One, you're nearly four anyways. And how's the work we're doing? Not too bad at the moment, so we can finish it off. Once we get back to the farm, but we do need to top up the greenhouses because either they have run out or they're very close to run out. Well, yeah, both actually, but sawmills going good at the moment. The farm sawmill, the main sawmill. I may still feed trees and, or trees and timber into it, but actually also, speaking of which, where is it to? Where is Winch? We'll go with you. I don't think there's going to be a difference. Let's have another look there. That's that. I don't think there's a difference, but yeah, we'll go with that. Because that is handy where we can just chop some trees down. And then we can drag it all over to... Sawmill, and I think we'll do that in the next episode. We'll just have a massive session of literally what's crops growing, just getting a bunch of trees over. Yeah, I'll get it up onto the trailer as it was designed to do. Shrap these down. Just remember how to put the weight, sat. There we go. And yep, we're gonna head back to the farm so hopefully we can start on seeding in a few moments. Actually what is Yeah, I should do this because I did it. But yeah, that's ready to be seeded, so 
yeah, we'll get back to the farm, get a, a tractor hooked up to the cedar, and start seeding the fields as well. But yeah, if we look at lime in that, how's that come along? That's just spreading lime when it's not needed. Oh Christ. I want to tell you to come to here. So, quite a bit of rock picking to do still. But lime is pretty much done, so I've got a bit there, a bit there. The bits on the edge I'm not too worried about. We'll do little strips and that here and there where it is needed. But yeah, I do miss the 42 meter working width. It is very handy, but. I'd rather have the capacity, personally. Uh, whether or not it's actually longer than doing it this way than having a 42 meter one, but I have to fill it more often. I'm not too sure, actually, if I'm honest. But yeah, I think, regardless, the capacity is better. Just for. S <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Just for a simple reason. Oh, yeah, it just saves on reloading everything up. Just a quick spray over here. How much have we got left over? 10%? Yeah. So that's that. And we've just got these two sections over here to do. Oh, goody, that is back. may seem insignificant to do for this little strip, but it is going to be worth it. Get everything done. And the rock picking will finish that off ourselves, because yeah, worker just keeps on going over the same ones that we've already done, or what yeah, what we've already done ourselves, so that's why I just sort of, you know what, heck it. Screw the workers. And we are done with the liming. So we'll go and park this over here. But yeah, these two sheds was a good idea. So we're going to park you up over there. Sawmill is producing a lots, lots of pads already. Yeah, it's at four already. Bloody hell. I think we are going to need more seeds and all that so so what do you say we're going to do soybeans and sorghum so yeah we'll get cracking on that just park you over there I'll tell you about this drill, it ain't a direct seed. Which is a bit of a bummer, but that's why I'm saving the money to get that big one. Yes, it's only 8 meters in working width compared to 6. I may look at some more options, I may see what is on the mod up. And why can't we undo the trailer now? There we go. you off and then also actually we can quickly check on the bells because they may be ready actually if they're not ready they'll be ready towards the end of the episode or in the next episode so we'll have a little quick of a gander not quite 96 percent so pretty much ready but So this we're just going to dump over there, like so. But yeah, it's just so many things to do, it's just things like, you've got to do little things here and there. And these aren't necessarily the best worker friendly fields and yeah, we do need a stump grinder, so 
Yeah, we'll get around to that at some point. We'll see that, but... So, let's go over here, and... Pretty sure it's going to fill up at the same speed, so I think what we may do is just jump cut to when we're done filling up here, so... Let's go have a seat. Tune on. Yeah, that's going to take a few minutes, so... Or a minute or two, so get us done, and then I'll jump cut to when we're done here. And there we go, that is that done. And oh boy, it took so long actually that, well, the valve turned off, so I'd turn that back on. That's not an issue for us. I'm just going to move these over just a little bit. And we'll get the greenhouses topped up. Look at that rapid emptying. That is what you'd like to see. Wish we had a bit of a faster filling tank, but... Or a faster war pump, whatever you want. Yeah, we'll see a yeah, war pump from the war tower. And that is done. Wow. That is quick, so we're just going to uh, fill up, leave that to be, turn you off. So now we'll start seeding our sorghum, get the worker on that, or we'll do headlands, and then we'll start getting these bells sorted and get them sold, I think, before the end of the episode. That's going to be five pawn it. And it's not quite ready yet. Not issue 99%. Let's turn it back on. There we go. So yeah, well sight is that. We're just going to leave you there for now. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting this all done. Yeah, so yeah, this chat's right on the edge of the land. So we still have access to it. It's just it being funny. And in theory, this should be it for the fertilizer. We do have some more fertilizer over there by the sawmill. But it's not really consuming, consuming it much. So if we have a look at the fertilizing state, all that should be, yep, yeah, first. Well, some of you are actually applying the second application. Or will do, but all of it is going to be just a first application of fertilizer, so we'll have to get the spreader and fill some lime up, not lime up, fertilizer and spray some bits, but overall it's not too bad. We do need some more seeds, so we'll definitely be on that. We'll just be careful not going to the other crop. And yeah, we could fast farm this, but. Yeah, so many issues we had last time off, like skipping bits and that. I just couldn't, I ain't gonna bother with it. 11 miles an hour is fast enough for us. As much as we love doing that, 3 miles an hour and all that good stuff. Yeah, I think it's really worth it, so. Yeah, what we do now is continue on getting this done. And then. I'll see you folks when we're done at some point, or at least done with this field. We may start doing that next field in the next episode on the same day. Depending on how long it takes to rock pick it. And there we go, that is this field done. This has been seeded. And all it needs now is rolling. 
well, rolling and to be fertilised again. And really, we do need to get on top of it because, like, our other field has been not been herbicided at all yet. So, yeah, definitely got to get on top of that. So, we've got to put time down at 0.5 for now because we're to get all this done today, really. So, is this ready to go? I think it is. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much all the rocks picked up, so... Now, we can start seeding. And, again, I ain't gonna do fast farming. As fast enough as it is doing this, this way, and... We're just gonna get this over, and... We may see in the time lapse, we've got the Devourer here. And it's a really handy piece of equipment, because... It will help us get rid of the stumps. It is, in a sense, a stump grinder, but... Obviously, if you want a bunch of wood chips, we can just cut down ooh, a bunch of trees, but... We're not going to do that because we need the timber for the sawmill. Even the little ones. But yeah, because in the next episode, when we're into June at some point, this will be growing. But we can still go over this, so it'll make it easy to clear out the rest of this forest and it'll make life so much easier. On full pipe. I wonder like, what was going on there. And in theory, that should just work fine. There we go. Ah, see, got, got to go over some asset. I remember now how to use this sub grinder, so simple. Boom. Because obviously, as you may see in the time lapse, we were struggling to get this bit here done. Just constantly clipping the stumps, and it was a real pain in the rear end. But now, just clearing it with no ease whatsoever. Well, no problems whatsoever, so I rephrase that, but yeah, it's just gonna make life so much easier around. If we get to the point where we have too many trees, could get with chips and then just have a sen session. But uh, we'll be a oh, fair bit away yet because obviously these trees are ain't gonna regrow or re growing more, even to the ones. So we also need to think about a tree planter, so and where to replant it. And my thinking is doing it over there by where the farmhouse is because. Things like the chicken coop, it's yeah, such a very low capacity and it's having issues with accepting the pallets when it's left there. And yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pain to deal with, especially where really it's essence just not getting enough eggs and that. Out of it. It's annoying, but. Yeah, we'll have a look at a different chicken coop. Even if we go with the base game ones for like 70 grand, it's going to be worth it. Because eggs are definitely worth it. And similar thing with bees. We can get some busy bees in at some point. I'm just going to whack this over here. And oh, look at that. That uh, is looking nice. So we'll give these a little push. There we go, just tap it along. Get a few more pads spawning. And that's where we'll be good, so get you in position, ready to roll in the next episode. There we 
go. Uh, we can get to work on that straight away. Hopefully it doesn't go into the other pills, because if it does, I am going to fire that worker and kill him. <laughs> but... Yeah, so that's where we're going to leave it today. In the next episode, we'll finish this off, so... Literally continue straight on to this in the next episode. And... Ooh... Darn it. Wrong prop. Soybeans were doing. Ah, bugger. Let's not that bit out. Can we go over it? Please tell me that soybeans in there. Oh, thank. <laughs> that was a lucky move. That was completely just not realizing. Like we still have sorghum selected, but this is going to be our soybean field, and this is going to be a definite big money maker. But anyways, as I was saying before, I know it's my little mistake. That's where we're going to leave it today. So next time we will resume in May. Get rest this finished, get it rolled. And then we'll go to June, get all the fields fertilised and herbicides. And the worker, I don't think it's going to the other fields, so I am pleased on that. So if you enjoyed the episode, which I hope you have, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farming Voice Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.